All right. Hi, I'm Chandler, and today I'm going to share the five most common mistakes that we see on resumes and how to avoid them. This is Busy Lab. One, proofread. Make sure to proofread your resume several times before submitting it. Printing your resume out is a great way to proofread as it allows you to see your words with fresh eyes. According to Career Builder's study of common and not so common resume mistakes that can cost you the job, 58% of candidates applying for jobs are unsuccessful due to typos and grammar mistakes in their resumes. Seriously? Two, include keywords that match the job description. If your resume does not have the right keywords, it most likely won't get noticed because you won't appear to be a strong candidate for the job. And often, the first pass of resume reviews is done with artificial intelligence. So if the keywords are not present, you probably won't even get to talk to a human. Hashtag sad. Three, don't be too modest. Share your awards and accomplishments even when they seem irrelevant to the job. They show that you're ambitious, active in your workplace and your community. Four, highlight duties as accomplishments. We often feel we should list all of our day-to-day -day activities on our resume. The more the better, right? Wrong. You should reword your daily duties to sound more like accomplishments. For example, I edited and posted blogs. Should be, I ran the corporate blog generating 88% of our web traffic. See the difference? Number five, don't attach a photo. Having a photo on your resume is a distraction. With business networks like LinkedIn becoming more and more popular, there's no need to have a photo on your resume as well. According to The Ladders, an online job matching service, recruiters only spend six seconds on average reviewing individual resumes. That's only six seconds to grab their attention and convince them that you're the most suitable candidate for the job. You don't want them focused on your looks. You want them focused on your skills. And one more thing. It's a great idea to have a friend review your resume before you hit send. But you knew that, right? So there you have it. The top five resume mistakes that you won't be making. If you have your own thoughts on resume mistakes, please share them in the comments below. And for more great content for business success, be sure to subscribe to BusyLab. I'm Chandler, and we'll see you next time.